What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports and we have made it to our Big 12 tournament. We just finished up the ACC tournament. So we did an SEC, Big 10, ACC, and now Big 12 spring tournament. I realize spring football has been over for quite some time, but uh, spring doesn't actually start till June 21st. So we're still going to call this a spring tournament. And again, we're going to go through the Big 12. I have seeded the teams based off of just expectations for this upcoming season. Not necessarily how I would rank the teams, but just the general consensus for these teams. And I tried, I moved a few teams around just to try to avoid first round matchups uh, that, that are the same games that are played during the re this actual season. because so I wanted to get some different matchups. We do have some of these games that will actually be played during the season, but we were able to avoid some by moving some teams up or down a line. But anyways, let's get to it here. We'll start with the bracket. And we'll start with the 1 and 16 matchup here on the bracket. Utah, the one seed, Cincinnati, the 16. So I originally had Oklahoma State as the one seed, but again, I think they played Cincinnati, so I, I switched that around. It, it really doesn't matter. Um, it, you're going to have to get through all the teams to win this tournament. But yeah, Utah, Cincinnati, 1 versus 16, the top seed versus the bottom seed. The 8 9 matchup, this should be a good one. Iowa State versus TCU. And again, this tournament will kick off tomorrow. Um, and for the most part, we'll have one game every single day. There may actually be a, a few days in there where we have two games. Uh, but yeah, Iowa State, TCU, that'll be the second game. We got the 4-13 matchup. Arizona, the four seed. Baylor, the 13 seed. Should be another pretty good matchup there. And then the 5-12 matchup is Kansas versus Texas Tech. And the higher seeds will have home field advantage. So Utah, Iowa State, Arizona, Kansas, those teams will have home field advantage. And that will continue all the way to the championship. The championship game will be on a neutral field. All right, let's go to the 2-15 matchup. It is Oklahoma State versus Arizona State. And then we go to 7-10. That's going to be UCF versus Colorado. Now, they do play in the regular season. And like I said, there were a few of these games where we, there was just no way to avoid it. But we've got UCF, Colorado, 7 versus 10. And then we got Kansas State hosting BYU, 3 versus 14. And finally, it's West Virginia, the 6th seed, hosting Houston, the 11th seed. That will be the final game here in the first round. And again, we're going to try to wrap this up. And if you're wondering, we're going to try to wrap this up quickly. One game a day, a few days, we'll have uh, maybe a couple of games. Um, but if you're wondering, yes, we are going to wrap up our 2024 season simulation before the new game comes out and uh, it'll actually i think we're gonna have the national championship on the monday before the early release of college football 25 and uh, so we're gonna get all that done and then we're gonna do the season again on the new game i probably won't have time to do any tournaments before the season but we might do some tournaments during the season on the new game so we'll see about how so we'll see how that goes i'm gonna have a I mean, it's going to be tough. I'm going to have to really cram in a bunch of games uh, from the time the new game comes out to the start of the regular season. But we will get the entire season simulated and get at least all the, the big games shown here on the channel. But back to this one. It's the Big 12 tournament starting tomorrow with Utah and Cincinnati.